In today's NFL, every quarterback sack seems to be followed by the obligatory sack dance. Many trace the origin of the sack dance to the Jets' Mark Gastineau in the early 80s. However, even before Gastineau got his groove on, the Steelers' John Banaszak may have pioneered the sack celebration in 1975. The first opportunity that I got to play was against the Oilers at home in 1975 when L.C. got um, his knee hurt in the pile and, and I had to go in and replace him as a rookie. And I actually visualized the night before my first sack in the National Football League. And it was deja vu. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the way it happened. I drove that offensive tackle back, uh, got to quarterback depth, and I made a tackle. And I was so excited about that that I jumped up in the air and raised my hands over my head and ran off the field. Well, the crowd went crazy. No one ever in the history of National Football League celebrated a sack before. I think I was the first player to do that. It wasn't anything like the kids do now planned out, you know. <laughs> that was his adrenaline, I guess, that was flowing in it. You know, the first thing after the ball game, the reporters were, all they talked about was the celebration of my sack. And I said, well, all I did was sack him, jump up in the air, and run off the field. Well, nobody's ever done that, they'd say. And I, you know, went to Andy Russell and I said, Andy, did I do something wrong? Um, he said, no, John, you just keep making those sacks and uh, don't worry about what the writers write. Banizak never stopped celebrating sacks throughout his seven-year career. It wasn't premeditated. It wasn't choreographed. It was my excitement and my enjoyment of the game. And that's what I did.